Para pa para pa 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 it's the Gene Podcast. Welcome guys back to another episode of the Gene Podcast, my boys. And today is gonna be a juicy t- topic. Today's list is gonna be on the best villains in anime and manga and Gene's point of view. So remember guys, this is my my opinion. So I hope you guys don't become salty and try to kill me because um I'm Gene and like um I'm a history book or facts or anything, okay? So let's get right into the news. <laughs> Here we go. Number five is Cell for Dragon Ball Z. See, the thing I like about this villain, this villain is ironic as fuck, my boy. Look at this guy right here. This ugly ass cockroach. But listen, bro. You know what I like about him? The the fucking whole arc about him. And the fights. And and his you could say his personality. See, the thing is about his personality, he's like Vegeta, but add an overdose of ego into it. And then you got yourself Cell. You got your first form where the is the ugly ass fucking cockroach. The second form is ugly ass black looking ass motherfucking big lib. Um, oh, I'm a fireman laser looking semi-perfect cell form. And there's the third form, which is, oh my God, my favorite. My favorite is the perfect form, my boys. Perfect form. After eating his quote-unquote brothers and sister, which is 17, 18. God bless them, and I hope they're doing all right in this timeline. Oh my God. And for the last form, which I don't technically consider a form, is perfect cell full power. Listen, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this one. Even though it looks cool, I don't consider it a form. I just, okay. The, the aura is cool though. So you, you get points for that cell. And my god, we got one of the best fights in that stupid whatever it was, cell games bullshit. It wasn't for cell. We're going to have the badass Team Gohan. My God. Now, for number four, we got Griffith. That piece of shit. Oh, my God. This charismatic piece of shit. Oh, my God. Listen, I'm sorry that I'm cursing him out a lot. But this guy, he could have been your best friend, man. He was like a brother. But when you watch Berserk, this main villain from Berserk, after what he has done, you feel betrayed. He is the anime Judas. And you don't want to know something? Even though he's a Judas to me, and to the main cast of Berserk, like Guts and Kaskasama, he's a badass. Oh my god. Griffith Sama, why they had to be a traitor? <laughs> you're, well, you're looking, your feminine looking ass, nigga. Why you had to be a traitor, my boy? Why? I just hope that your epic final battle with guts is gonna be badass. Then the it's gonna be worth it after years and years of waiting on that boat. It's gonna happen, my boy. Now let's get to number. Three. See, I just started this anime recently. I'm gonna take a break for now. God knows where I'm coming back. But the thing that took me by surprise and let me still go onto this journey is the anime Juju Hakucho. And the villain I'm talking about is Younger Tororo. Oh my god. My nigga, he's a G. Bruh, like. Every scene with him, it's a fucking, fucking badass scene, bro. God, uh, I just, every time he did something evil, I just couldn't be mad. I just, okay, maybe it's some. Basan, Basan. 
But I, let me not get emotional. Okay. But that God bless. Now, why am I saying? I'm just saying like this badass, this muscle bomb piece of shit. I thought I was gonna hate him, but my God. After you know about his interesting background, you feel bad for the piece of shit. Ain't in the Dark Tournament saga, man. One of the best sagas I've seen for a while. And I'm telling you. That battle with Yusuke and Togoro. Jesus Christ. Worth it. For number two. Is. Kira. From Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4. See guys. Jojo. Is underrated. It's one of the most underrated greatness out there my boys. And when you come to part 4. There's a new interesting building called Kira Yukitari. And this guy, Jesus Christ, this serial killer. Listen, when the author makes you rise a good villain and makes you sometimes root for the guy, it's over. Because once that's what Kira is, my boy. This guy is crazy. But my God, sometimes I do want to root for the guy. And his stand, killer queen. He could all blow up anything, my boy. Everything he touches with it. And, and don't leave. Because if you touch the, the close button, he already touched it. If you touch it, you're going to die. So you can't escape this video until you finish, my boy. So be careful. Because. Kira It's gonna kill you my boy And for special Honorable mentions That I wish I could be on the Could be on the list But they're still badass In my own opinion And those are Uchiha Madara Madara From Naruto And King For Hunter x Hunter And For Giant Ball Z Buhan and for this honorable mention, that a villain I really hate a lot so far is Donald Trump. That's all for now. And number one in my list is Light Yagami from Death Note. See, Gene, but the thing is, how is he the bad guy? He's the protagonist of the series. But no, that's the thing. He's the protagonist and antagonist. See, the thing is, we always follow him, but he's the one that's actually evil. The true definition of antagonist is, is the one who moves the plot forward. And that's the thing. He's a, not hero of the story, but he's the main character of the story. But he's also the one causing all this trouble for the other coolest characters in that anime, Omaga, who are L and his team. And my God, what a wild ride that Gita, a.k.a. Like Yagami is. With his best, not best friend, his partner in a way. Ryuk. And my god. What a piece of shit. But the thing is. After I'm done eat, um, After I'm finished with this podcast. I'm gonna eat this potato chip. Mmm. Potatoes. I hope you guys enjoy. This um list. Sorry that I sound weird, because even though I always sound weird, is that I'm kind of rushed right now, you know? The KKK is trying to look for me, becomes I'm Dominican and Brown, and um, I am the run for now, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this list, and have a good day now, alright? Peace!